Despite the success of endovascular treatment, there is still much to gain. New and better devices are needed, new drugs and better workup strategies. This requires increasingly expensive clinical trials. We therefore need ways to reduce costs. In silico clinical trials form an intriguing new instrument supporting clinical studies. An in silico trial is a computer simulation of the full trial, with virtual patients, simulated interventions, and predicted outcomes. INSYST aims to demonstrate the feasibility to perform in silico clinical trials for new treatment options in acute ischemic stroke, guiding the way to faster, cheaper, and safer market introduction of new treatments in ischemic stroke. So how does an in silico stroke trial work? First of all, we build our platform on extensive data, clinical data, images of thousands of stroke patients, and a large collection of retrieved clots form our base for modeling. From these data, we derive vessel geometries of individual patients, as well as atlases of clot composition and infarct core location. These data form the base for our stroke population model. Our first module generates a virtual population. Each virtual patient is based on a random selection, based on the variation and co-variation of all the available patient data, covering up to 15 patient characteristics. Our virtual population can be as large as we want, but each virtual patient would still be unique. We include a wide range of possible inclusion and exclusion criteria and develop a patient population generator app to generate as many virtual patients as we want, with well-validated distributions of age, sex, blood pressure, occlusion location, and all other characteristics that we need. This virtual population then forms the base for the next step. Module 2 simulates treatment and its effect on progression of brain tissue damage. We simulate thrombosis and thrombolysis based on hemodynamic forces, transport of blood elements and drugs, and local chemical interactions in the clot. We also simulate thrombectomy based on finite element modeling of devices, properties of the clot and the vascular wall, and vessel geometry of each generated virtual patient. In vitro setups allow validation of these models. While further validation is obtained from mechanical tests on thrombi. The third part of modeling in module two addresses perfusion and oxygenation of the brain. This work starts by generating realistic and detailed brain morphologies, which are combined with the vascular architecture and porosity models of the microcirculation to predict local perfusion. The brain perfusion models then form the basis for evaluating perfusion and progression of tissue injury during stroke and reperfusion treatment. Also, the models are run for each individual virtual patient with their own characteristics, choice of treatment, and timing of treatment. Experiments on rodents are performed that provide parameter estimates for tissue ischemia, anoxia, and final infarction. This includes the role of microthrombi released during the thrombectomy procedure. Such microthrombi lodge in the small vessels, causing small but sustained flow interruption. So at this point, we have methods for generating virtual populations and building blocks that model the crucial processes in stroke and treatment. The next two steps are the estimation of outcome for each of our virtual patients, resembling the collection of data in a real clinical trial. 
and assembling the in silico trial results into a report on outcome. The whole procedure, from generation of the virtual population to delivering the in silico trial outcome, is automated as an event-driven process. INSYST is just the start, combining academic and industrial research and development and supported by the Horizon 2020 programme. We hope that demonstrating the feasibility of in silico clinical trials in stroke research will inspire many other groups to join this approach for the good of our future stroke patients.